Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano. And you are listening to another episode of the world famous, the University Love, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I would just call this show Online Marketing Moves, and we are coming to you live today. Today is Saturday, August the 10th, 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to be speaking with you today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you know, this week we had an episode where we missed. We missed on Wednesday. So we are going we are going to make up for that today. We are going to do an episode. Today we are going to talk about something very important. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about network marketing and we are going to talk about why you should not worry about and this is in any business, ladies and gentlemen. The main thing that you Let me uh, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to tell you something right now. Okay? The most important thing that you can do, ladies and gentlemen, is not worry about the one thing, you know, everybody, and this is just a fact of life. We, you, you know this. I know this. Some people don't want to admit this, but everybody ain't going to like you. Okay? Everybody is not going to like your message. Everybody is not going to like what you got to say. Everybody is not going to like your delivery. Everybody is not going to wait. Not going to like the way you run things. And that's okay. That is okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, everybody's not going to be your friend. It's it's sad, but it's true. You know, you could be the nicest person in the world. and There will be somebody that says, this guy is a phony baloney. I do not like them. And you would say, but why don't they like me? I am a very nice person. Some people, it's just the way they are. Don't dwell on it. Don't think about it so much. Don't worry about it. Just move on. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the same as in any business, especially when you when you have a bunch of customers lined up and they want to walk into your store. Just think you have, let's, let's just think, let's just say you have a store. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We have a store, okay? Let's call our store the ABC store, okay? We got the ABC store. Every day we get foot traffic in there. Every day we get, let's say we get a thousand people in there every day, okay? A thousand people. How many people should buy you? Now, listen. In a perfect world, a thousand people that walk into the store, they buy, they buy, they buy a thousand things. But we all know that ain't gonna happen. Okay, you you walk into the store some days, and you're like, I'm just here to look around. I ain't buying nothing. It doesn't matter if God Himself came down to talk to you. You would say, God, I'm sorry, but I just come in here to window shop. Thank you. There are some days you go into the store, you say, I don't care if I like the person that's trying to sell me something. I don't care what is going on. I'm buying today. I got money. I hit on the numbers last night. I'm buying. I'm buying something. Okay? It's just the way it is. And sometimes you're like, maybe I will, or maybe I won't. Maybe I will, or maybe I won't. Okay? And so, ladies and gents, when it comes to any of this stuff, you want to, this is, this is the reason why you want to have access to all you know, this is why you want to have a nice size email list, okay? You want your email list to be nice size, but you also want it to be active. You want people buying the stuff that you are selling. You know, if somebody was talking to me one day about network mark about network marketing, and they said something that hit it hit home to me. It made sense. Finally, finally, somebody said something to me that made sense when it comes to network marketing. The guy said, one out of 10, eh, two out of 10, you're average. Three out of 10, brother, you're in the Hall of Fame. I said, wow. I said, baseball, now you're speaking my language. He said, all you need is three out of 10. He said, he said you start to get three out of 10, man. Your life changes. I said, you know, that does make a lot of sense. 
And I said, you know, in baseball, you bat 300 and you play for like 15 years, you get 3,000 hits, something like that. You know, if your average is 300, you're going, you're going to the Hall of Fame. There's, there's a great chance that you're going to the Hall of Fame, you know. You no, know, Wade Boggs, when I was a kid, Wade Boggs, Tony Gwynn, they hit 300, 350. So they were getting three hits for every 10 at bats. So seven times they would fail. But the three times they would get hits, they're like, hey, Tony Gwynn's one of the greatest hitters of all time. And so, ladies and gents, for you, for me, for all of us, we have to start thinking in terms of baseball. You ain't going to get everybody. It's just the way it is. But it does not matter. Whether it does not matter whether you do affiliate marketing, network marketing, you have a YouTube channel, you do podcasting, you have a brick and mortar store, you have an online store, you sell soap, you sell lipstick, you sell cologne, you sell perfume. I don't give a damn what you sell. You ain't gonna get everybody. But you want to put it in front as many people as you possibly can. As many people as you possibly can. The reason why. And you want to put it in front of people that are willing to listen. Let me stop right there. Because everybody don't want your product. Okay? So let's say you are selling makeup. Men, <laughs> most men that I, most men do not want to wear makeup. Most men, okay? Yeah, some men that want to, that want to buy makeup. And if you sell to them, congratulations. But man or woman, whoever you are, if you want to sell makeup, you know half. Okay, half of your population, whoosh, gone right there, okay? That's okay. You got women, okay? So women want to buy makeup. Who wants to buy makeup? Is the makeup for el- older women? Is the makeup for young women? Is the makeup for anybody? You want to sort of say, all right, this makeup is for, let's say this makeup is for women in the corporate world or whatever you want to say. How you want to say it? Because if you know, though the foundation lasts eight hours and all this kind of all this kind of change. You know? So you have a segment. Now you have another segment. Boom. All right. So let's say there are, you know, uh ten million women, ten million ten million working women in, in America, okay? So now you have ten million you have ten million eyeballs that you that you can you can try to get to. Okay. Pretty good. That's that's pretty pretty healthy number, right? So, you know, you ain't gonna get all ten million. Some of them, are, some of them, they go to Sephora, they go to Estee Lauder, they go to this one, they go to that one. You know, they go to Fenty, Fendi, or whatever. You know, whatever makeup, whoever seller makeup. You know, I, I, but they, but there, are, there are people that's gonna be like, I'm not happy with what I use. I am not happy with this. I am not happy with that. You know, so you tailor your your literature to to get the people that you know that you can get in front of, and you try to get it in front of as many of them people as possible. Now you know you're not gonna get a hundred percent, but if you can get twenty, thirty, forty percent, you know, if you can get, you know, if you can get three out of ten, you know, three out of ten, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Three out of ten? Hall of Fame status, okay? You want the three out of ten. The three out of ten is a great number. You know? Like like I told you, everybody ain't gonna come with you. Everybody ain't gonna listen to you. Everybody's not gonna be want to be bothered with you, you know. This podcast, unfortunately, there's a billion people in the world. A billion people don't want to listen to this, okay? A lot of people do not care about marketing themselves to a chain to obtain a higher um 
status or whatever, you know? So there are people who are not going to listen to this podcast. And that's okay. But what we want, we want the three out of ten, you know? If I could, if I could go put this podcast in front of, you know, 100 million people, <laughs> if we can get 20 to 30 percent, sounds all right to me. What about you? Okay? So, you know, the numbers game, you want to be, you want to figure out how can I get my thing? How can I get my product? How can I get my business? How can I get the thing that I want to sell you, the thing I want to tell you about, the thing that I want to promote, the thing that I want to do? How can I get that in front of as many qualified people as possible? And then you have to work on how can I get the 20, 30 percent, you know, the three out of 10, the Hall of Fame status. OK, um, that's what you want to do. You want to figure that part out and you want to really go for it. All right. And and please, by all means. Market the living Jesus out of yourself. OK, whether it be Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram postcards online offline leave no stone unturned unturned gumshoe okay but go for the three out of ten you know put yourself in the superstar status and then eventually it will you will get so good you don't have to worry about people you don't have to worry about finding people they will find you and when you get to that level when you get to that part of the game boom 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 you have done congratulations now ladies and gentlemen that is going to be it we'll be back um on monday with all new episode of online marketing moves but if you haven't already folks what are you waiting for good god almighty go and subscribe to wherever you get your podcast you know if you're on spotify follow us on spotify um as i told you we got to boost those numbers up we need that ad we need that we need that ad revenue okay baby but um, we'll be back on Monday with an all-new episode. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, you can always email the show, Tony at TonyAtTonyRizzano.com. That's Tony at TonyRizzano.com. And until Monday, ladies and gents, I appreciate you. And uh, God bless. And as always, everybody, peace.